Dev is back with his King Cobra Taco, but we're here for a reason today. And what we're doing today, guys, is extremely dangerous. I've been doing this for 35 years with venomous steak, so I don't want you to think that what we're doing is easy. Doing this is definitely scary. We're gonna do a King Cobra gender reveal. We've got some other venomous snakes we're gonna sex as well. And make sure to stick around because later on, we're actually gonna be doing a spitting cobra sexing as well. It's gonna be fun. What we have here is actually some Midwest tubes. What you do with these animals so that you're safe is you put them in the tube so that when you're sexing them, they're actually trapped in the tube and can't actually bite you. First thing we want to do is get the right size tube. Again, do not try this at home. Another King Cobra or any venomous snake at that. Me and Taco have built a bond. As you can see, she's completely trusting of me and everybody that is around. So do not try this at home. That is one absolutely crazy relationship that he has with this King Cobra. So I'm sure she's not going to like this, but what we're going to do is just get her to kind of crawl into this tube, just like that. Now you can see she's basically, up. she crawled back out, not happy. That's right, try to get her to crawl in. There we go. Now she's crawling in. Now she's completely safe. Now we want to keep her right about there. So her face isn't towards this end of the thing and we can actually get to this tail. I'm going to use these red line science probes right here and I'm going to actually show you exactly how to sex a snake. So what we have here guys is we actually have the hemipene pockets right here. This is what they call the anal vent. And the hemipene pockets here, if this probe goes in deep, that means it's a male. If it goes in shallow, it means it's a female. I tell you what, it looks to me like this is probably a female just from looks, but it's hard to really say. So I'm going to just very gently go in here and try to get into the hemipene pocket. I'm gonna kind of work it over, work it through, and just go it, and I hate to say it guys, Taco is a boy. Taco <laughs> is a boy, Dev. What do you think, man? I'm still happy with him. It oh, doesn't really matter. Like, I just wanted to be sure that the sex of the snake was the right sex before I decided to get a pair. So now what we need is we need a female King Cobra <laughs> to match up with this absolutely gorgeous male. I always say she. She is nah, now he. a he. He <laughs> is absolutely gorgeous. You can see that probe went in all the way to there and could have went in even deeper, to be honest, but the taper was getting a little bit much. I didn't want to push too hard. Definitely went at least seven or eight subcaudal scales, which are the scales on that side of the vet. That's where the hemipene pockets is, meaning that Taco is a boy. But we still have a bunch of other snakes to sex. And by the way, do me a favor. I mean, this is a dangerous thing we're doing here. Smash that like button for me, right? And what we have here is actually a Bushmaster. This is the largest pit viper on the planet. These guys can literally get up to nine foot in length. They are definitely potent. They are bouncy. They are crazy. They strike in all kinds of different directions. Definitely an animal you do not want to get bit by. Thankfully, this is a small animal here and we've got a tube that is probably going to work. I'm just going to go ahead and do the exact same thing. Probably not going to be super happy about it. Got to get it to climb through. It's all an exercise in patience, guys. We could have probably went down one more tube if we wanted to, size, because it's going to be able to pull out pretty easy. Here we go. Now it's climbing. Nope, now it's going backwards. And right now I'm pretty safe. I don't have to worry because it can't strike outside this tube, right? There we go. Now I can keep it just like this. It's 100% fine. I'm gonna go with a much smaller probe on this one. And my guess is, as a matter of fact, I'm even gonna go smaller than that because this is a very small animal. My guess is this is a female because of this short tail. And sure enough, right there, we see it is a girl. And ooh, I tell you what, just having a tail of a Bushmaster in your hand is a little bit freaky. I'm gonna just let it climb right on out. There you go. Oh, it's out. The thing about Bushmasters, even this size, it can strike about two thirds its body length. You have to definitely be careful, but what absolutely gorgeous animals, dude. I mean, how long have had her a couple weeks a couple weeks i yeah. tell you what, bushmasters are awesome animals again really beautiful as it gets older it's going to turn more of a tan color lots of blacks coming through heavy contrast just absolutely gorgeous look at that beautiful pit viper head that it has on it you can just see the intelligence in its eyes i mean this is awesome man thank you so much for letting me mess with your bushmaster oh, yeah, no problem. oh my god incredible again guys we're coming up here we're going to do a few more things we're going to have a spinning cobra that's going to be absolutely amazing time to get some eye goggles on let's do this we have this beautiful Indochina spitter right here. Starting to do a little bit of a display on us here. And this is when they typically spit when they're like this. You've got to be a little bit careful, but this particular animal is actually pretty chill. Now the downside is, is when they're hooded like this, it's a little bit hard to get them in the tube, right? So what we don't want to have happen is that, and again, I'd be very surprised if she spits because I've known this animal for a little bit and it's actually very, very docile, but we definitely want to get it to the point where she's not going to strike and kind of go into this tube. So you can see as she's flared up, that's not going to happen, right? So we need to just kind of get her to come down for us and kind of move forward and then just get her to go. That's all right, that's okay, girl. Oop, she is fired up today. It's okay, girl, here we go, come on. All right, and sometimes you just gotta be patient with this stuff. There we are, get her going this way. Don't let her back up. It was at this moment that he knew he fed up. There she is, there she is, that's where we want her. Now we wanna just keep her here if you wanna hold her that way. Again, you always leave a good amount of space at the end of the tube. And we can go ahead and just sex this animal up right here. Again, that pocket is right there. Then go in real gentle. Definitely not happy. You can hear it hissing a little bit. 
Right now it's looking like it's gonna be a girl. But we're gonna do both sides just to check because sometimes one side, up, oh, this side will bury. So okay, this is actually a boy. We can let it back out real quick, let it go. So what happens is sometimes one side, Ooh, come on baby. And I tell you what, after you sex a snake like this, they definitely get extra, extra angry at you, for sure. Who wants that going up their rear end, you know what I mean? But the fact is, is that sometimes one side, it's okay boy, you're all right. What a little pistol. Uh, sometimes you'll probe one side and it just has a little bit of restriction on it, right? And it's just kind of in that position where it doesn't actually go in there. It's just, it's just pushing back. So you always want to probe both sides if it doesn't go deep, just to make sure that you know if it's a male or female. We have a male spitting cobra here. Absolutely wonderful snake. I mean, this thing is unbelievably beautiful. It's really showing for us well today. The last couple times I messed with this animal, it didn't really show too much for us. So it's really something else. Beautiful, beautiful hood on that snake. Look at that. Sex and some amazing snakes today. Always get your adrenaline up. It's absolutely amazing. Love working with these animals. Absolutely beautiful. So we'll go ahead and get this little monkey back. And now we know the difference. We know Taco is a boy. We know the Bushmaster is a female. And we know the Spitting Cobra is a male. Mike, are you a cobra expert now? Not an expert, but I love them. They're pretty cool. You, you feel pretty comfortable. It's all about being calm, right? Yeah. You know, see how a lot of people, once an animal kind of crawls up that hook like that, they'll start to get real nervous because it's getting close to their hand. The fact is, is that you're really calm, deliberate with your movement. You're not stressing the animal out because you're like jerking around. You look like you're a pro, dude. You just feel like you're in your element. Like people always say, like, why do you do it? Just, there's no feeling like this ever. Those cowboy boots are probably going to help you too. Yeah, yeah. She can't get up 11 inches up my leg, you know? <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Can you imagine the king of all snakes right there? King Cobra. It's just so free. So beautiful, right? She's awesome. Not only do we have some amazing venomous snakes, but my buddy here brought some cool animals as well. And you may say, like, all right, it's a cowrie tick. Brian, you have a couple cowrie ticks, but this isn't just a normal one, right? Tell me a little bit about no, it. No, this is a 34% super dwarf cowrie tick. Wow. 34% Kalatoa blood, and also 12.5% Jampea on top. As far as I know, the smallest golden child cow tiger in existence right now. And yeah, and it's got golden child in it as well, so that's pretty cool. So again, cows typically get, you know, 12 to 15 foot, something like that. This one's probably, what, maybe gonna get eight to 10, if, if that? He's about three right now. It's about three, so maybe not much bigger. I mean, that is amazing to have a cow retic this size. And then this little monkey here is incredible. Tell me about this. This is about a two and a half year old, and this is, as far as I know, the smallest Super Dwarf Phantom, along with her clutch mates in existence currently. She is 50% Kawadi, 25% Madu, and 12.5% Kalatoa. Wow. And they are a adaptable pair, and so you can produce Super Phantoms out of this, golden, more Golden Child cows. And you gotta remember, when you produce cows out of this pairing, they're gonna be way, way smaller even again. So eventually we're gonna get a cow that stays this size, which is gonna be absolutely ridiculous. You guys know I love reticulated pythons, but sometimes the giants, you know, they can be a little bit hard to deal with. Take a look at these beauties here. These are actually neotropical rattlesnakes. How old are these guys? Probably would say maybe two months old. Two months old, unbelievable. I love the neotropical. They're one of my favorite of all the rattlesnakes. Kind of look a little bit like a diamondback, but yet they still have a lot of time striping on them. Just absolutely wonderful. Dirty, dirty venom. Definitely don't wanna get bit by these guys. And they're pretty chill. I was expecting these guys to be jumping around like crazy. No, nah, I was like I said, it's just when they're sitting in the tub, they like get all freaked out, so yeah. they'll move around real sporadic. But once they're out, they're actually pretty relatively oh chill. Oh my gosh, look at those things. Just absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous animals. I mean, I can't imagine being a rattlesnake breeder and then one day waking up and just having a whole like 10 or 12 of these little babies just I'm, sitting around. I'm hoping that my Eastern Diamondback drop in a litter here soon. Oh my gosh, that's, that's, that's a cool thing. I mean, again, venomous snakes aren't for everyone. You definitely need to be, you know, seasoned. You need to do a lot of talk about doing apprenticeships under people. That way you know what you're doing but wow when you actually can become a good venomous guy there are some beautiful beautiful specimens out there i uh, i love these guys to death again guys i want to reiterate two things number one what we did here today is dangerous i don't want you guys trying this unless you've had many years of experience the other thing is is that dev has a really crazy relationship with this king cobra something that i don't suggest most people because it takes unbelievable amount of time and energy to put that type of trust in it i personally always use a hook but i tell you what dev is amazing with this animal i'm going to do all his links in the description if you go and go check him out thanks dev for bringing your problem. amazing stuff and your friends. Thank you guys, you guys are amazing. If you enjoyed this video, here's another playlist you guys can hit if you don't mind. Also, you can hit this subscription button. That does a lot for me. I appreciate you guys. Have an absolutely wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you in the next one.